guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. You're definitely gonna wanna be subscribed now because I am doing a giveaway tomorrow. So if you're watching this on Sunday, I'll be doing my giveaway Monday um, and choosing a winner that comments down below why they would like to win this print right here. So check it out. I wanted to show the love and um, say thank you to you guys. So as you guys know, my boat has been in the shop all week, so I've barely been able to do any fishing amongst other reasons. Today I'm going to be fishing off of a dock that's got a nice little channel beside it. Let's go wet a line and beat this thunderstorm. So I'll see you guys out on the dock. There are no snakes. Sorry if I'm making you guys dizzy, but I've seen a couple fiddler crabs, those are good bait. beautiful evening let's get baited up obviously on this rod I'm going to have my little red lure galaxy series paddle tail first I want to get rigged up with some shrimp on a little bottom rig this rig is kind of a smorgasbord of fish bite remains you guys can see it's so hard to get these things off of there it's definitely cooled off quite a bit um, today Maybe about 10 degrees less than it has been. So it's been like 89, 90 degrees today. Um, so it's been a little less hot, but it's definitely really humid. Um, we're expecting quite a bit of rain and possibly tropical storms and stuff headed our way. Oh well, we'll leave that. <laughs> All right, so if you guys ever want me to do like a rigging video tutorial type thing, um, I would definitely be happy to do that because I know a lot of times when I go fishing I usually already have things kind of halfway rigged up so like you know my knot what this is how I got these on there the size hooks and all of that just let me know but I've got a little bottom rig here and um, I believe I've got yeah these are size six hooks and I'm going to put on a one ounce weight because it is super calm back here right now one ounce weight just like that and it's gonna hook it on right here just like that and then for bait I've got some food lion shrimp <laughs> you know these are the small raw shrimp so I'm taking about this this size shrimp super small amount putting it on the hook best way you can because most of the time like I said there are little croaker here um, little fish that will just pick this right off but I'm gonna hope that we could maybe pull a, a puppy drum out of there um, but if not I'm gonna get some croaker, um, and maybe eat those up for dinner tonight. 
So we got little, little bites of shrimp on there. And we're just gonna cast it. And it doesn't need to be far. Oh, dang. I don't know if he got off. <laughs> oh, shoot, he did. Dang it, I was not ready for that that quick. <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys. Wow. I was not expecting that. Dang it. I hate it when I miss a fish. Always got to be prepared. Stay focused. <laughs> okay, let's get this back out there. Very close in. A little and get ready. Oh, I got him. Oh my gosh. All right, you guys. World's tiniest croaker right here. This is actually gonna be awesome because you guys already know. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use him for live bait. I'm gonna hook him right underneath the chin. I'm sorry, buddy. And go straight through the top of the nose, just like that. And I'm gonna toss him out. Oh gosh. I'm gonna toss him out. Fingers crossed. That is awesome. All right. I'm gonna just let that guy chill. I'm gonna throw this back out and see if we can get a bigger, bigger croaker. An eaten size croaker. Unless a crab has him. Yeah, a freaking crab. Jeez. It was a huge crab. <laughs> He's on there. Little baby croaker again. <laughs> Little baby croaker. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm gonna throw this little guy back. He's too big to use for live bait and he's not quite, ouch, he's not quite big enough to eat, so I'm gonna throw him back. Alright you guys, here's another one. I have a feeling that this is the majority of what's out there right now are these croaker. About this size and smaller. Um, so I might start saving a couple of these for bait. They're great cut bait, um, or great crab pot bait, especially. Uh, there's no size limit. So I'm gonna keep some of these and, uh, try to catch something a little bit bigger. What do you know? Another croaker. All right, guys, I'm gonna save this one as well <laughs> for the crab pot. <laughs> Another little croaker. There's got to be like a million of these things out here. I've lost count, guys. <laughs> drum around here look how beautiful so cute uh, puppy drum are actually in the same family as croaker this guy is definitely not in the keepable size limit it's got to be 18 inches the beautiful color it's got two spots on this side 
one spot on that side and two little like freckles there. It's so cute. Lucky kiss. See you later, buddy. Woo! If I was catching these croaker a little bit bigger, I would definitely be saving them to eat because um, I think they're delicious, but they're not quite big enough to really get enough meat off of, so I'm just going to be using them for baiting my crab pot. Ooh. Bang. Another croaker! <laughs> It felt huge and <laughs> definitely put up a fight. He's a little chunk. He's a little chunky. All right, guys, this is the last one that I'm probably going to keep of these croaker. He's going in the bucket for crab bait. All right, come on, something bigger. And it's another one. <laughs> this is just like one cast after the other. It's so much fun. It feels really nice since I haven't been able to fish all week. <laughs> Um, obviously this isn't something that I normally target, but it's still a lot of fun. Lucky kiss. See you later, buddy. Alright, you guys, I've got my catches right here that I kept. Got four croaker, and I'm gonna put these babies in the crab pot. That's the cycle of life. Um, for me, I would rather catch my own bait than go to the store and buy it. So let's pull the crab pot up. All right, guys, got quite a few in there. Ah, try not to get pinched. <laughs> a lot of them are nice size, like that Jimmy over there, he's pretty good size. All these aren't keepers, but I will definitely go through and make sure that all of them are up size before I keep them. Hook them up with some fresh croaker. So I'm just gonna cut these up just a little bit before I put them in the pot, just to make it easier but they will pick these things clean, straight to the bone. All right. It has been an absolutely amazing blue crab season this year for me. Um, I definitely started out a little too early, so it seemed like it was really slow, but I think it was just a little too early. Um, but now July um, has been absolutely so plentiful with blue crabs. Super grateful for that. So I'm going to throw this back out. All right, guys, that about wraps it up for my little evening fishing session. Thank you guys for coming along with me. Make sure to enter the giveaway to win the Maui Fish Printer handmade artwork. All you have to do is comment below this video. Make sure you're subscribed, comment below this video, and tell me why you would like to win this piece of art. And I'll be picking a winner on Monday, tomorrow. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video.